A uh, good amount. Uh, just people from college, family, friends, uh, just saying congratulations and keep it going. How many people that didn't even know they had your number? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it was mostly everybody that, that you know I've known or talked to before. So it was it was good. You know to talk to some people that I haven't talked to in a while as well. You know just catch up with them. It's a challenge now. This is every week, not fourth down. Catch the game on the touchdown pass, obviously, to produce like this every week. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, just keep keep building on what I just did. Uh, you know, last week is over now, so I'm on to this next week uh, with our opponent in the Lions and, you know, putting my best foot forward, so going to practice and finding ways to get better so that I can, you know, be consistent and double double down on what I just did. You called your work here again these last few years. Is there any way to put into words how rewarding it was to make that, to have that game and then to make that game-winning catch with 20 seconds left? There's a lot of guys. Never, never find themselves in that position. You know? uh, yeah, I mean, it's special. And you, and you realize it for a moment because you work for so long and you never know when it's truly going to you know, happen for you or if it will happen or you know what could come from the work that you're putting in. But you just got to have faith and trust you know, that the work will show one day. And like I said, you know, my day was the other day and uh, it felt good. And like I said, now it's just about continuing to work and continuing to build on that. <laughs> was that a good thing? at all in the moment or was that more after, after the moment reflecting on it? Uh, after the moment, uh, the next day, you know, just talking with the family and friends, you know, everybody kind of just preached on, you know, the work that I put in and how hard I work, and uh, it was good to see it, you know, come come to fruition for me. Was that a good time out? Uh, you know, just just stating, you know, they've been new that I could do it. Um, you know, they've been waiting on it, and you know, they're they're happy to see, you know, it happen for me. And keep going, don't stop. Uh, you know, this is a stepping stool, so keep building on it, and you know, they're expecting more. How crazy is it? You almost didn't get that opportunity because of the injury. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was trying my best to not not be out there. Um, and like I said, coach took me out for a play, and then once he called a timeout, I was like, I gotta go in. Right. <laughs> I can't. I mean, because if I they don't take timeouts, you're not on the field. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. A blessing in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm great. I'm great now. <laughs> did you see Tyler's quote? Yeah, I did. I did. did you How many people? On, man? <laughs> no, we, t we we all laughed about it on the plane after. Uh, I mean, everybody pretty much knew when it when it happened. And like I said, I tried. I just I, I went blank for a second. Couldn't breathe. I was <laughs> I was out of it. McCarthy spoke a lot about obviously you guys got to get this win at home to stop this at home. Just from your standpoint, what do you feel like you guys have to do? Uh, don't beat ourselves. I think we still haven't played our best football. Uh, we've left a lot out there on the field, and so I think uh, just continuing to challenge ourselves to be our, our best version of ourselves when we come Sunday, and then uh, I think we'll love the results, but we have to practice that way, and we have to go into the game with that mindset that, you know, we can't keep beating ourselves or putting ourselves in opportunities to, to get beat. So uh, I think just play our, play our standard of ball, and we'll be fine. Just a general background question. Like, when did you first pick up a football and fall in love with this sport? Uh, 11th grade of high school, picked it up, um, okay. then fell in love with it. Uh, I say senior year, I started having fun with it and then uh, started getting offers and, you know, went to college to, to try to do both. And uh, that's really when I think I truly fell in love with it because I still had that baseball in me uh, when I, I was in. 11th grade, who pushed you to play football? Uh, my dad was a coach. Uh, he coached at Williamson, coached Demarcus Russell, Antonio Coleman, some of, some of those guys. So he was always pushing. And then my best friend, Bubba Thompson, he was the quarterback, but he also played baseball with me. And so uh, we would go hit and do baseball stuff. He was like, hey, come catch some balls for me. And so I started doing it and then eventually picked it up with, with my friends. And uh, the rest is history. From there. How much did that game and that play could be a confidence booster for you? Because, I mean, you were at number one for a reason because you were that type of playmaker in college. And, and how much can you get back to being that guy? Uh, I'm looking forward to getting back to being that guy and showing, you know, showing the world that I am that guy. Um, I know I can be, and like I say, I'm just excited for the opportunities that are ahead of me uh, and just being able to go out and make the most of them. But like you say, my confidence grows every single day. I learn something new, uh, whether it's on or off the football field, every single day. And so uh, I'm still growing, still building as a player, and I'm looking forward to how, how high I can take it. Brandon, one of those text messages? 
Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, if you want to share what he said. No, nah, like I said you before, you know, I text him before the game just because you know we we walk onto the field together. We do you know pretty much everything together. So I text him before, love you, bro. He said, love you too, bro. Go kill it. And then I got back to my phone, and he was one of the first messages on it. He was like, let's go. And, you know, just kind of hype me up, send me some stuff. And then uh, I ended up telling him like I was like, I made sure I shouted you out in the, in the media, bro. You know, you with me always. <laughs> Uh, definitely. I think a guy like that um, that is successful for so long uh, and has been around a lot of great players, uh, when he sees value in you like that and knows, you know, what you're capable of and uh, also trust me to come to his house and work with him, you know, throughout the summer and, you know, be around his family and kids uh, is special. And that obviously brings confidence to, to me as well because I have a guy that's played a lot of ball, been very successful, and he's telling me, you know, that I can do more than he's done or, you know, be able to, to max out my game. And so having that, that support system and Brandon is special, and like I say, I learned a lot from him as as far as a coach as well, you know, a mentor because he's seen a lot of the game, so I can ask him questions that you know I might not ask the wide receiver coach just because he wasn't out there when this specific thing happened. And like I said, B Cooks is always there. Jalen, when you guys got Jalen, when you guys got back after Sunday night's game, how long did it take you to get to bed? Were you still buzzing? No, nah, we got back at like six. So I think I was knocked out by like seven, and then I woke up, came up here about ten o'clock, and worked out. Got a flush lift in, got an ice bath, everything. So, uh, like I say, it really doesn't stop. Uh, the week is over now, so we just got to find a way to, to to keep building on it, keep growing, and you know we have a tough opponent coming in, so looking forward to going out there and competing. Does them. it build some subconscious confidence, though, at least you know to, to have that victory, to have that success in that moment, and then be able to carry that over into this week? Oh yeah, definitely. Like I said, just it's a stepping stool, so just continuing to keep building on it, finding ways to get better. Can you talk about that route. You kind of came out the end zone, and you were supposed to be coming out the end zone. And nah. You, uh, and the consciousness of trying to get back into the end zone. Yeah, it's a crossing route, so CD is supposed to be over the top. Um, I was supposed to be underneath and uh, it was a little cloudy in there and so I know I had to go underneath so made sure I just got through clean that was the main the main point is you know if all fails just get through clean and then you know kind of redirect yourself wherever you have to go and like I said I knew I wasn't in the end zone so faded back in and like I said I saw the ball and uh, in that moment like I said that's that's what we work for that's what that's what we live for so uh, you can just make a play on it. So Dak, you and Dak talk after that touchdown. It looked like you guys said something up close. What did, what did he say to you? We got a little handshake we did, and then um, he just was, you know, hyping me up as well, you know, <laughs> talking, cheering me on. Like I said, I told him, I, I made sure I let him know, like I do every day, I'm always with you, bro. Little bro with you. I got you. Jay, and so, really, go ahead. I'm good. Uh, in the second half of the game this year, CD only has four catches for 25 yards. It's probably more of a product of shadowing the top and putting a couple guys on him. Do you and the other receivers kind of take a little bit uh, upon yourself to kind of honor the try to get the respect of the, the defense kind of <laughs> take the pressure off CD in some instances or do y'all even look at those types of things? Uh, honestly, I didn't even know that was a, a stat or a thing. Um, Obviously, as receivers, we try to get open every play. We try to do, you know, our part of the play every play. And so, uh, whether the ball comes to us or not, we're trying to find a way to get open and try to do the job. You know, whether it's to get the ball or to get somebody else open. So, uh, like I said, I think overall we just, you know, working to, to do our part. And when the ball does come our way, like I said, that's what we work for. You know, those are the moments we want. And so, you just make a play when it when it's your turn. All in all, there is intention not only to get open yourself but to get other guys. Open. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure, for sure.